Diabetes affects the pancreas, an organ of the digestive system. An important function of the pancreas is to make hormones that regulate blood glucose levels. Insulin is produced by beta cells, which cluster in groups called islets. Insulin is a hormone that lowers blood glucose levels. After a meal, glucose reaches the pancreas via the bloodstream and is released from capillaries into the pancreatic tissue. This triggers the release of insulin, which is stored inside the beta cells. Shown here are muscle cells. Insulin arrives through the fine capillary network that traverses the muscle fibers. The surfaces of muscle, fat and liver cells are covered with insulin receptors. When these receptors bind insulin, they signal to the cells to release special glucose transport channels onto the cell surface. These channels enable glucose to gain entry into the cells, allowing the cells to store glucose as energy for future use. In this way, insulin acts to regulate blood glucose levels. In type 1 diabetes, a patient's own immune cells mistakenly attack the insulin-producing beta cells. Type 1 diabetes is referred to as an autoimmune disease because the body's immune system attacks its own cells in error. Over the course of the disease, a patient's immune cells will systematically, but mistakenly, kill nearly all the beta cells, shrinking the islet, but leaving all other cells intact. The few beta cells that remain in the pancreas have a severely reduced capacity to produce insulin. The death of the pancreatic beta cells and the consequent inability to produce insulin is at the core of type 1 diabetes. Without insulin, the body cannot regulate blood glucose levels, and the high glucose levels damage many tissues throughout the body.